Hi, today I am going to make crocus meal. A very dramatic and beautiful flower. Material required are crepe papers in orange and green, a yellow colored pencil, a thin wire, green floral tape, some cotton wool, um, thick wires for the stem and some slightly long pips. The stencils and measurements are given at the end of video. Take the thin wire and first apply some glue on the top of the wire. And then take some cotton wool, a little bit, and put this on top of the wire. Make it a, you know, slightly longer shape by rolling it. Like this. Now take the piece for the bud, first stretch it. Apply glue all over. And stick this on top of the bud, the cotton wool. So put it at a corner like this and bring the flap over to so form a triangle and then just pull the sides down and then roll the paper between your fingers. So you get a slightly, we want a longish bud. Not a round bud. Like this. Then take two sepal pieces. Stretch it. Apply glue. And stick this. about mid ways of the bud depending on the size if the bud is small then you just expose a little bit and then stick the sepal like this and then stick the other one right opposite the first one so again stretch it apply glue And stick it right opposite the first and then wind the paper on the wire for the stem so this is what it looks like now cut the wire leaving about one inch or 2.5 centimeter gap take the six petals and put them alternatively so you have petal A, petal B, petal A, petal B and like that. So first apply glue on the first petal. In a triangular form. And stick the second petal on it at an angle. Then again apply glue in the same way at a slant and stick the next petal on it so at the bottom keep the same height same length of the petal so that on top they are slightly like you know higher lower higher lower like that and stick all the six petals like this now take the yellow pencil and color all the petals on the stem 
so below this curvature line till almost the bottom just color them yellow This is how it will look and color the same way on the other side also. This is how it will look on both sides. Now take three pips and cut off one side. So you have three long pips like this. Now apply glue on the petal just a little bit like this and then just stick these pips like this uh, they should almost touch the uh, the outline of the petals like this now I've cut a strip of uh, thin paper just about uh, half a centimeter long and as long as the pips so just apply glue and on one end leave about half a centimeter for the glue and make three cuts Like this. Now just roll the strip this is a stigma and open out the, the cuts that we made and stick this also on the glue. This is what it looks like. Now apply glue on one end, one side of the petal. Fold over the other side and stick this over to form a funnel. And before this completely dries, just open out the bottom, make it circular, either using scissors, just insert them or just press it open like this, so it becomes circular. Then again, using scissors only, curl the petals, each petal, with the help of scissors, like this. This is how it looks. Now just give a few crimps on each petal. Just a few, maybe a little twist or just stretch a bit. Like this. Now take the thin wire and cut about 4 inches long piece from it. Hold it in the center, put the flower here, the base, push it a bit towards the folded side and give it 2-3 twists. Now take the two sepals and as we did for the bud, first just stretch the top part, apply glue. even on the stem and stick this on one side of the base just covering the wire the thin wire and then twist the stem on the wire 
then on the other side also stretch the bud the sepal and stick this right opposite the first one and then again twist the stem This is what it looks like. Now I've made buds in different sizes, almost about 15 or 16 of these, and about three flowers. Now take the green floral tape and cut out a long piece from it. Stretch it. Now take a thick wire. Now this wire should not be very very thick. It should be just comfortably which you can bend easily. Now take the smallest bud. Hold it on top of the wire. And then start binding the tape on it. After giving about 3 whirls, take the other bud. Put it slightly lower on one side of the wire and then wind it then take the another one smaller one slightly lower than the th second one and then again wind it you go on adding buds but they should be on just on two sides of the wire not all around it and each one should come slightly lower than the previous one so keep on adding buds like this this is how it will look as you can not see they should be just on both the sides of the wire not around it and similarly attach the flowers so take the flower and put it on one side and take the second one again put it on the side This one will come here. The buds in the flower should be pretty close to each other. There shouldn't be too much of a gap. And just like finish off the wire. So this is how it look. Now just the flowers will sort of you know stand up in an upright position and the buds will form a kind of a V so I'll just start from the top so you have you know like a wide V from the stem but all in one direction And this is how the stem would now take another thick wire so we have to attach these so take a small piece of thin wire and just wind it on both the wires thick wires and take a long piece of tape cut it and stretch it 
Let's keep it aside for a while. We'll take the leaves. The leaves are quite long, but there's a limitation of the paper, so these are about just 25 centimeters long. Make just score parallel lines on them. So I made two like this. Now take the tape and start winding from where we left off. attach a leaf so take a leaf and just like give it a little crease hold it on the wire and wind the tape over So this is how the whole stem would look. Now just where the, uh, the flower is sort of ending, just give a bend upwards like this and the stem is like this. So this is how your Procosmia would look. All the measurements are given in centimeters. This is a stencil of a petal. It is 1.75 wide here and 1 cm wide at the base and it is 7.5 cm high. Cut 3 pieces per flower. This is petal B. Again this is 1.75 wide here and 1 cm here and this is 8 cm tall. So cut 3 pieces of this. This is of a bud 2 cm by its 2 cm. This is the smallest bud. Then you have the biggest bud that is 5 cm by 5 cm. So cut between these two sizes, cut uh, at least uh, 16 buds or less if you want to. This is a stencil of a sepal. This is 1.75 here and 4 cm high. The stem is 2 cm high and the base is 0.75 cm wide. Cut two pieces per bud and per flower. This is a stencil of a leaf. It is 25 cm high and 2.5 cm wide at the base. Cut as many leaves as wanted.